Yes, yes, yes. Good morning, good afternoon, wherever you are. It is great to be alive. No more excuses. I'm living. I'm alive. Got my chance to grow and thrive. Every moment that I breathe, yeah, is an opportunity to be me. I decided to live in the midst of all of that. I'm decluttering. I'm alive. Yes, I am declutter. Declutter, declutter, declutter. I could not believe the amount of bags and bags and bags and stuff and stuff that one can develop. Develop, sorry. Well, welcome, welcome, welcome to the Decide to Lift Radio by Janice Bajamir. And it has been an amazing journey, 2016, which is about to see its way out. Um, because in 2017, I'm going to have a, an A and B conversation. So I need, to, I need 2016 to see its way out. So, <clears throat> yes, declutter. So I wanted to share with you some of my phases so it can help you. Now, decluttering does many things for you. It makes you feel free. In actual fact, I remember one day my counselor came round and he was helping me to fix some stuff. Um, um, and he has a business called Schools of School of Keys, Seamus Plug. There you go, Roger Batiste. Do check him out and learn some piano. That's what I'm going to do this year. I'm going to learn some piano. Well, I know how to play the piano, but I'm just going to add to it. So, um, yeah, he came. He did some things for me. And then we got everything nice and neat. I got all my stuff, you know, in a place, in a corner. He left. And then... Just before mid midnight, it's almost like um, Cinderella and you've got to be ready just before the clock strikes 12. Suddenly I had this idea, ding! Why don't you, if I were to move this from here and put that there, I suddenly had this brainwave. <clears throat> so I said, yeah, that's simple enough, my dears. An idea is worth a million pounds because that idea took me almost four hours to accomplish. Decluttering is not easy work and decluttering, you find all kinds of things. You find books you haven't seen in years, you find pictures you find articles, well, in my house, you find articles. Articles, um, I'm a teacher, so I find resources I was looking for. It's like, wow. Um, I even found a poster. I'll probably try and make it the picture that goes with this, but this poster was um, after an induction and getting the learners to create a poster about the college rules. And on one of the posters, it's so sweet. Um, right at the bottom, it said, do not make the teacher shout. Her voice is for singing and not for shouting. When I saw that, I thought, oh, it's so cute. And they made it part of the college rules. I think they should make it part of the college rules all the time. But um, yeah, I looked back and I remembered, oh yeah. I used to tell students that I don't tell them anymore now I need to let them know I sing but I don't do that kind of classroom based regular classes like I used to um, so I'm, um, I'm more of an assessor now and I go in the workplace so yeah can't sing in the workplace um, yeah so I move around a lot with my work and I do online equals development so I don't see anyone there it's just me and the computer in perfect harmony. Yeah, so um, 
declutter so my main message is declutter you'll be amazed at what you'll find um you might find old fruit that had dried up <laughs> you might find an old piece of pizza i don't know what else you find piece of mango a mango seed a dried up mango seed that died um many deaths um but i moved in in um august 2005 so from August 2005 till now, I developed stuff. I've gone through several phases. Each room has had its own phase. The first phase was the idea. Then the second phase was, oh yeah, there's a bag. Let me take that bag out and see what's here. Then you'll have one black bag that will lead to two black bags, three bags, a box, and each of them will have loads of paper. And um, I did a silly thing. I, I I took off all my addresses and personal details um, and then I got so fed up I just trashed it in the trash and just threw it in the bin um, please do not do that don't do like I do do as I say so what you do is you rip off you don't want to shred everything it takes a long time so what you do is just rip off the address any personal details I put it in another bag I know a bag going into another bag there's several ways of you can deal with it you can shred it you can burn it in a controlled way um, you can soak it in water so that the ink I remember doing that someone told me to do that I filled up a bath with water with all this pe never again do you know how heavy that was oh! I won't do that again. You can't put it in a washing machine. Please don't put it in a washing machine. It'll mess up your washing machine. I haven't done that, but just in case, you know, because I mentioned the water. Um, the other thing you can do um, is after you've got rid of it and shredded it, um, then, I mean the mass shredding, then what you do, you can go to work, take it to work and put it in their shredder every day. You know, you go in and you just put a few pages in. Um, or buy a shredder and have it at home. They've got this new amazing one at work. I'm going to try and buy one. Where you lift up the cover, just put a pile of papers on, on the top, close it down and just press on. And it will just start shredding away to, you know, it's heart's content. You know, you don't have to worry about nothing. You leave it, let it shred. So um, that's it. So once you've done all that, you've got rid of stuff, then you have lots of little useful little knickknacks. Sorry, I'm tired. I've been up until four or five in the morning decluttering every day uh, for the past few days. But once you've done all of that, you will find that um, you get to a stage where you've got some really useful stuff. And you think to yourself, okay, I can't get rid of this stapler. Oh, this is an amazing key ring. Oh, this is new. I bought it in New York and I've never used it. Look, please, please, please. That's where decluttering restarts. Throw it away or what you do, like I'm going to do, every little useful knick-knack, paddywhack, give a dog a bone, I'm going to put in a bag, yes, bag, or a box or whatever, and take it straight down to the charity shop. There are people who cannot afford to go to an, uh, a normal store and buy certain things, not even Primark. Come on, not everybody has that income or have loads of um, um, family members to think about, so they can't afford to go to these shops. So even if you can take spreads, pillows, <laughs> Um, I wouldn't say pillows because you've slept on that. I probably dribbled on it. So I would say the the pillowcases, even if they're all miscoloured and whatever. Wash everything, please. Please, please, please. Wash. Put Use comfort. Do not. I do not give anything to anyone that I would not use. So wash it. And if you don't wash your clothes, well, please wash it for charity. Wash dry and take it to the charity shop there are people that need to buy your stuff i also realize as i've um put up an article i don't run a hotel 
I really do not need 10 plates. I do not need for different varieties of spoons, forks and cups and no, 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 no. Only, I only use one or two of those things and those things are usually, because I write cookbooks, so I use, I buy things, sometimes from charity shops, unusual stuff that I use for taking photos and that's it. But I have those in a cupboard. I don't really use them. They're just there for taking photos. They have to be in pristine condition. So anything you see in my cookbooks is food that I've cooked in plates and cutlery and things that I've either got from John Lewis or Charity Shop or Harrods or something like that. It's always a unique piece, but I don't have lots of it. But I don't run a hotel and I don't have loads of people coming here. If I do, they'll eat out of paper plates. Um, sorry people, I don't do dishes and I don't have a washing machine. So when I have to wash dishes, I do it under duress, okay? I love to cook. I don't love washing dishes. I do it, but I don't love it. So just to let you know. Um, so if you want a real plate, bring your own plate. <laughs> I've got loads of forks, but bring your own plate. <laughs> ah, that's a joke. I won't necessarily do that. I've got lots of things from, um my days of catering oh for my days of catering do i have stuff i have packaging galore and guess what it's all going out the door reason being because i now know what works what doesn't work i know now know where to find things so if i need it for a job i buy in bulk for that job that's it job done but right now i've got hundreds and hundreds of plates i've even got boxes of unused buffet um items um or i might just sell it on ebay who knows but for now they're there so in case i do a catering job or one of my own events i have i have plates there so if you come to one of my events i will be launching the book in march um i decided to live no more excuses um <clears throat> Some amazing things are coming up. Um, some of it will include televised content. Um, so I'll see you in 2017. But what I suggest is, this is, these are some of the steps. So I started with one room, then I took out a bag and started, um, take, started sorry, um, taking off personal details, throwing away old, 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 um, uh, what do you call it? Uh, statements bank statements because i found out if you needed a whole year of bank statements for your accounts or something you can just contact the bank they'll send it to you okay um they'll send 12 months or whatever the length is or whatever the period is just pay five pound that's good it's all good and then when it's done you can just shred the whole thing or just keep it as a pack you know so at the end of each year the beginning of each new year you get last year's just so that you have that and then at the end of that year, you get rid of it and so on and so forth. Um, the next thing I moved on to is really having to throw away things that I thought were useful, pack them up, take them to the charity shop because somebody needs to buy it who cannot afford much. OK, somebody needs to buy it. Um, the next phase now is I've decided to declutter my furniture. So it may be that you um, you rework some of the things that you've got. Um, I decided to use a worktop and buy some chrome legs from home base. Each one of the legs cost £20, but they're big, massive legs. But it's a worthwhile thing. I just use a worktop that I've got and that will house my my my... Yeah, I don't want to say too much, but it will house the the equipment that I need um, to do the job that I need to do. I don't want to say much because this is live, so, you know, you don't need to know everything. Um, I'm living.